The last video introduced us to file objects and how we can use C++ to open and create files inside of a directory. And I showed you guys exactly where that directory was using Xcode on a Mac. Now we saw that we need to always include fstream, this preprocessor command. This is going to allow us to input and output files. We know that we write ofstream when we want to go ahead and create a file object. And I call this file object, file object, just to keep it simple. And then whatever I'd pass through here, make sure it's a string. So it needs to be in quotation marks. That would be the name of the file with the extension that if it didn't exist in the directory that I showed you last video, it would go ahead and create it. This would allow us to put things inside of the file and this would allow us to close it after the entire program is ran so we can free up some of our resources. Now I want to see what can we write in order to make sure the program will tell us whether or not we open the file successfully. So what I'm going to do right here between where we created the file and where we're going to be adding things inside of it, I'm pretty much right after we create the file and we write the file object, I want to go ahead and write an if statement. Now I'm going to put inside the I'm going to put the spaces inside of the condition here because we're going to actually have brackets inside of these brackets and I don't want you guys to get confused. So I'm going to go ahead and write the name of the file object. So I'm going to file object. And whenever I write the file object, I'm talking about the, the file, right? So if I write file object, I'm talking about lemming.txt. That's going to be the file I'm talking about. So you can somewhat think of it like a variable, but it's not a variable, right? It's still an object, but it's representing lemming.txt. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write is I'm going to put dot separated, then write is, I'm going to put an underscore, I'm going to write open, and I'm going to put open and close braces like that. So I'm going to obviously get rid of some of these spaces here, we don't need that many spaces, but just remember what's inside here. So we have file objects, whatever the name of your file object is, in this case minus file object, a dot separator, the keyword is underscore open, and then open close braces. Now this is going to allow us to create an if else statement, which will determine whether or not it's open. We're actually going to have two lines of text to tell us whether or not we actually have our or file open or if it's closed. So go ahead and open up your body here. And inside, I'm just going to write one thing. This is going to be your, your successful. So if the file object is open, so if lemming.txt is open, I'll be outputting the file lemming.txt is open. I'll give myself that message. Now, if it's not open, we're going to have an else statement. So you're going to write else outside of the body of your if statement. So make sure it's outside here. We saw this earlier on in the series. And you'll open up a new body over here. And now you're going to say the opposite the file lemming.txt is not open. End line. Right there, simple enough. So if we run this whole process, it's going to start off, it's going to say, okay, we want to either create or open lemming.txt based on whether it exists inside the directory or not. And if it is open, we're going to display this message. If something went wrong and it didn't open, it's going to go and put this message. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I'm going to go ahead and build and run this. The build has succeeded and it says the file lemming.txt is open. And I might wonder, you know, what could possibly go wrong for this not to be open? Let's just say we completely forgot to put something inside of here. Let's just say we just left it like that. We didn't even write an extension. We didn't even write anything. We just completely forgot. I can actually go ahead and remove lemming.txt because now we don't have it anymore. Not that it matters, but just to stay consistent. And there we go. Okay. So now we can see the file is open or the file is not open. Now, if I have absolutely nothing inside of these brackets here, we're going to say the file is not open. Why? Because I didn't even tell it we had a file. So if you have that, you know, a little bit of a fail safe, it's a little bit of a catch in case something happens, your safety net, uh, it will let you know whether or not the file was successfully open or not. And you can always include this after you create a file. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions regarding this or files in general with C++, feel free to leave them in the comments below. We're almost done, guys. We are almost done. A few more videos, and then I'll probably put some practice problems and maybe some practice final exams if you guys I want to have like a final exam walkthrough or something. I'll probably do that. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far.